Now that we have managed to build our code and create a package or an artifact, it's time to deploy that package. So once again, let's have a look at the flow. This is the Octopus Deploy website. So before I explain the flow, let's have a look at the website's address, which is octopus.com. Octopus Deploy can perform many, many deployment scenarios. For example, in this picture, we are deploying ASP.NET websites to IIS servers. However, if you want to see how it works with other technologies, you can change these drop downs and see what changes. For example, if we want to deploy Java and we don't want to send the packages directly to Octopus, we want to put the packages in Artifactory, you will see the flow. In this flow, Team City will send your package to JFrog and then Octopus Deploy will get it from JFrog and then we'll deploy it to, for example, Tomcat. Or if you want to deploy to Nginx, you just change this drop down and it will tell you what's going on. Likewise, if you want to deploy, for example, um, let's say ASP.NET Core with Docker, you will see that your Team City will register the Docker to a Docker registry and Octopus Deploy will get it from there and deploy it. Or you can just send your package directly to Octopus Deploy. So by looking at this diagram, which is interactive and very nice, you will get an understanding of how the flow works. Now let's have a look at the features of Octopus Deploy and get familiar with it because it's uh, important to understand how it works and what it does. So now we start Octopus Deploy level one. Octopus Deploy, as I said, can perform complex deployment scenarios which you cannot normally implement just by TeamCity or any other CI tool such as Bamboo or Jenkins. It can be installed on Windows. If you want to host it yourself and you want to install it on a server, you can only install it on Windows. However, you are not limited to deploying to Windows machines only. You can deploy to both uh, Windows and Linux based operating systems. Also, you have the option of using the cloud version of Octopus Deploy, which I recommend. And I, in my current company, we are using the cloud version of Octopus Deploy and we are very happy with it because the benefit is that you don't need to run a server constantly for Octopus Deploy and you don't need to worry about upgrades and backup and things like that. And also Octopus Deploy comes with a free license for small teams. If you have up to 10 deployment targets, you can have Octopus Deploy for free, which is very good for small teams and for just starting or using Octopus Deploy with not so much headache. So let's see how Octopus Deploy works. Uh, just like Team City, we have a server. You know that Team City server is there for maintaining your projects and build configurations and users and things like that. Likewise, Octopus Deploy has a server which is basically for maintaining the deployment projects, users and environment information. What actually does the work is Octopus Deploy Tentacle. Octopus Deploy Tentacle is basically just the agent like team city that has team city server and team city build agent octopus deploy has octopus server and octopus deploy tentacle so octopus server communicates with the tentacle to perform tasks there are two ways to communicate with a tentacle there are two types of octopus deploy tentacles the first type which is recommended by Octopus Deploy is listening tentacle. In this case, tentacle is just sitting there listening on port 10933. And whenever there is a task to be performed by the tentacle, Octopus Deploy connects to the tentacle and sends the command and then tentacle performs the command. There is also another type of Octopus Deploy tentacle, which is the polling tentacle. And in this case, Octopus Deploy doesn't talk to the tentacle tentacle periodically connects to octopus deploy server to see if there is any pending task and if there is then it will perform the task as i said octopus deploy recommends the use of listening tentacle because it has less headache however polling tentacle has its own use case and the main use case of a polling tentacle is that when your servers or machines are on the cloud and they are on an auto scaling group which means they may appear when the load goes up and they may 
disappear when the load goes down and when a server comes up automatically a polling tentacle can connect to octopus deploy server and get the pending tasks and perform them whereas if you use a listening point tentacle on a server that just may be created in the cloud automatically then it won't be able to be recognized by octopus deploy server so every tentacle has to be deployed on a target server for example if you have a server that hosts iis or nginx and you want to deploy a website to that server you have to deploy a tentacle on that server otherwise octopus deploy won't know that you have such a server so you have to put your tentacles on your target server whether they are test environment or production environment it doesn't matter every single server that you want to deploy something onto needs to have tentacle on it now tentacles basically don't perform the tasks themselves they are there just to get the information from octopus octopus server and manage the task and communicate with octopus server they perform the actual operations using something called calamari which is just an exe file and the benefit of calamari is that you will have one tentacle on the target server however if you want to run several tasks in parallel then tentacle will just run multiple instances of calamari and then they perform multiple tasks at the same time there is also another type of tentacle that is basically called worker tentacle and that is not used for deploying things onto server it's for performing tasks on behalf of octopus deploy for example if you are working on amazon web services and you want to run a say cloud formation script for example obviously you cannot have a tentacle on amazon because it's a managed environment what you can do is that you can have a worker tentacle and ask the worker tentacle to connect to amazon and run your script uh, majority of the times you will be working with just a normal tentacle which is deployed on the target servers and helps you to deploy your products to the target server uh, license wise octopus deploy works based on how many active tentacles you have as i said if you want to use the free cloud product you can have up to 10 tentacles and then more than that you will have to buy a license which is again based on how many tentacles you have for example you can have 10 extra active tentacles and use them if your number of tentacles go above that again you have to pay and buy more active tentacle licenses so as you see it's a good licensing model which the more business you have the more you just pay so let's go and see how we can install octopus deploy and also if you want to use the cloud product how we sign up and use that